The word polygon derives from two Greek words, the first meaning much or many, and the second meaning corner or angle. So a polygon is a two-dimensional closed shape with straight sides. On the left you can see an example of a polygon, it's got straight sides, it's a closed two-dimensional shape. But on the right, that shape there has a curved side, so it's not a polygon. Now, here are some names of common polygons that you've probably seen before. The triangle, the square, the pentagon, the hexagon, the heptagon, the octagon, the nonagon, and the decagon. Now, polygons are either regular or irregular. The regular ones, all the sides are the same length, and all the angles inside them are the same size. Whereas the irregular polygons, either the sides or the angles, aren't all the same. This is Barbara Bug. She's walking along the sides of this regular hexagon. And as she gets to the end of each of the sides, she turns through an angle that will point her in the direction of the next side so that she can walk all the way around the hexagon until she gets back to where she started. So can you see that she's walked all the way around and turned six times? And each of those angles is called an exterior angle of the polygon. There are six of them. And because she's back where she started, she must have turned through 360 degrees altogether, a complete turn. So those six exterior angles must add up to 360 degrees. So if we divide 360 degrees by six, it'll give us the size of each exterior angle of this regular hexagon. And 360 degrees divided by six is 60 degrees. So each of the exterior angles of a regular hexagon is 60 degrees. So if each one of them is 60 degrees, then the interior angle, which sits on a straight line with the exterior angle, we can calculate that by subtracting the exterior angle from 180, because the angles that sit together on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, the case of the regular hexagon, 180 minus 60 degrees will give the answer 120. So the interior angle of a regular hexagon is 120 degrees. Now, if you have an irregular hexagon, all the sides and the angles are different in this case, and you join any point inside it to all of the vertices, you split up that hexagon into six triangles. Now we know that the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And here we've got six triangles. So all the angles must be six multiplied by 180. But those green angles, the angles of the triangle that meet at that point that we started from, we don't want to include those. So because they fit together around a point, they must total 360 degrees. So we need to subtract 360 degrees from our calculation. So to sum up, to find the sum of the, all of the interior angles of an irregular hexagon, first split it into triangles from any point within it, and then you multiply 180, that's the angle sum of a triangle, by 6, 180 multiplied by 6, and then subtract the angles we don't want. That's the 360 degrees at the middle or at the point that you drew the lines from. So to sum up, for a regular polygon, the exterior angle is what you get when you divide 360 degrees, representing a full turn, by the number of angles or the number of sides that the polygon has. 
the interior angle of a regular polygon is 180 minus that 360 divided by the number of sides or the number of angles that the polygon has. And for any polygon, including all the irregular polygons, if you would like to work out the sum of all the interior angles, it is 180n minus 360. So 180 times the number of sides the polygon has, and then subtract the 360, remember those angles at the center. But rather than remember those formulas, think about the way they are derived. So think about the little bug walking around the sides of the polygon. Think of the angles on a straight line for the relationship between the interior angle and the exterior angle. And for the sum of all the interior angles, always think of it divided into a number of triangles from a point at the center. And that will help you remember the formula. So let's have a look at some examples of questions you might get. What is the size of each exterior angle of a regular octagon? Well, an octagon has eight sides, you need to know that. So it also has eight exterior angles. And each of them would look like that. You extend one side and it's the angle that's made by those two lines there. So, how many of them are, are all the way around the octagon? There are 8. So if we divide 360 by 8, or 360 over 8, we'll get the answer 45. So each exterior angle is 45 degrees. What about if you're given an irregular polygon, and you're given all the angles, apart from one of them which you have to work out? Well, the first thing to think of is what is the sum of the interior angles of every pentagon. Now the sum of the interior angles is what you get when you multiply 180 by, in this case, 5, and then you take away all those angles at the center, the 360, and you'll get 540 as your answer. So now if all the angles add up to 540, Let's subtract the ones that we're given and see what's left, because what's left must be x. And in this case, x is 90. The diagram shows one of the vertices of a very large regular polygon. How many sides does the polygon have? Well, that's a very strange question. The diagram won't even fit on the screen. We don't know how many sides the polygon has, but we do know that the interior angles are each 160 degrees. So let's think about the exterior angles. And because exterior angle lies on a straight line with the interior angle, we could subtract 160 from 180 and get the answer 20. So each exterior angle is 20 degrees. And now let's think how many of those 20 degrees will fit into a full turn, 360 degrees. So 360 divided by 20 is equal to 18. So the polygon must have 18 sides. Which regular polygon has each interior angle four times as big as each exterior angle? Whoa, I think we need a diagram for this. And we also need a letter to stand for the exterior angle. I think I'll choose X, and then the interior angle will be four times as big, 4X. So there's the diagram. We can see the two angles sitting on a straight line. One of them's X, the other's 4X. So if they're added together, they will give 180. So if 5X is equal to 180, X must be equal to 36. So if the exterior angle is 36. How many 36s will make a full turn? Well, divide 360 by 36 and the answer is 10. So there'll be 10 exterior angles. So the polygon has 10 sides. It must be a decagon. Here we have a diagram, not drawn to scale, but it shows a regular pentagon. We've got to find the angles A and B. The interior angle of the pentagon is found 
Well, if it's a regular pentagon, the easiest way to do it is subtract the exterior angle from 180 degrees. And the exterior angle of a pentagon is 360 divided by 5. So it will be 180, subtract 360 divided by 5, which gives the answer 108. So that angle up at the top, that A, is definitely 108 degrees. And of course that triangle ABE is an isosceles triangle because AB and AE are both the same length. So that means the two angles at the bottom of that isosceles triangle will both be the same size. So if we subtract 108 from 180 and divide it by 2, it'll tell us what each of those two angles are. So A must be equal to 36. So now we know what A is, the angle ABE is also 36. And the angle B is what you get when you subtract that 36 from the size of the interior angle at B. So subtract 36 from 108 and the angle B must be 72 degrees. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at the online exercise. Don't forget to press the check button regularly as you're working through the questions to see if you're getting them right. And if you make a mistake, have another think and correct your answer and then press that check button again. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you've got to the end. And there are lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at to improve your mathematics and you can claim hundreds of trophies. So, what are you waiting for? Get going! Bye! You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transum.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.